Okay, number 34 it says, given P-R-O-E is a rhombus, S-E-O is a line segment. Basically, E is contained on a line from S to O. E is on that line. Um, and P-E-V is a line segment, so E is contained on the segment from P to V. Uh, angle S-P-R is congruent to angle V-O-R. So right off the bat, we're given that S, oops, S-E, I'm sorry, S-P-R, this angle, is congruent to angle V-O-R, V-O-R, which is right here. Okay, those guys are congruent. Um, we want to prove that S-E and E-V, those two segments, are indeed congruent. So we want, in the end, that this and this are congruent. That's our desired end. That's what we want. Okay, and there's a couple different ways to go about this. Um, I'm going to use the fact that P-R-O-E is a rhombus. Right? And I'm going to say, because... P R O E is a rhombus. I know the following are true. I know that P R is congruent to O R, and I know that O E is congruent to O R, and I know that E P is congruent to, uh, let's see, P E is congruent also to EO. So basically I have this this chain here. I have P R this segment is congruent to RO and that's congruent to OE and that is congruent to EP. Right? I know that much is true because it's a rhombus. I also know, in terms of angles, because, again, it's a rhombus, I know that angle PEO P -E is congruent to angle PRO, because opposite angles in a rhombus are congruent. And I also know that... E O R E O R is congruent to so E O R that's this angle here. I know that E O R is also congruent to this angle down here, which is R P E. Angle R P E. Right? Okay, now I know by addition of angles. So let me change that color up a little bit here. Uh, by angle addition, I know that angle VOE, this, okay, angle VOE is congruent to angle S. Oops, S-P-E, S-P-E, okay? Because basically V-O-R, right, this, this big angle here, V-O-R, is equal to the sum of E-O-R plus V-O-E, okay? And then I can just subtract E-O-R from V-O-R, and I can get V-O-E, and that's going to be the same as down there but hopefully the, the, the picture itself uh, kind of speaks for itself. This, let's see, this entire angle, right, is the same as this entire angle. And since these green parts are the same, right, these, these green parts in here, since these guys are the same, that means the blue guys have to be the same. Let me get rid of some of that extraneous information. Okay. So angle addition, properties of the rhombus. Okay, and uh, one last thing. We have uh, vertical angles. So vert angles. Okay, because of vertical angles, I know 
that, what's a good color to finish this off? Let's do this. I know that this angle is congruent to that angle. So I know VEO, angle VEO is congruent to SEP. Okay? I can now make a statement using um, side, I'm sorry, angle side angle. So due to angle side angle, I can say the following. I can say that triangle ESP is congruent, so ESP is congruent to EVO. Triangle EVO. Right? And I want to prove that SE is congruent to EV. And I basically have that by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. I'm not going to write that all out. But basically, because of that, this is true. And you can see it in the way that it's uh, written right here. ES and EV. Here's SE and EV, but the order of the letters in this case doesn't really make a different uh, make a difference because the ES is the same as SE. So there you have it by corresponding parts of congruent triangles. SE, that segment, is congruent to segment EV. And we are done.